No contest. Commentary, uh, middle of the road, middle of the match, maybe, I don't know. Normality is losing, so surprising. Yep, pretty good player. But yeah, Normality already on the ropes here. Uh, three stocks and three. This winner's round one. What's up, people? It's Johnny Lawrence on the mic. Get it on. After he uh, lost the Malachi, number one seed here. And one of the best players in the world, too. Recently, uh, in the top 100. Got ranked. She got some uh, NBA people. I think Chicken Bug. Uh, I don't know whether he was uh, 20, uh, 31. I forget the list. I, all, all I know is uh, I remember Axe. 
not top 20 anymore, which uh, I guess, you know, had an underperforming year. Uh, which is, you know, kind of strange in, in what was a year that was filled with a lot of, like, the emergence of a lot of low tiers, like we saw DK, obviously, some more Ganon representation than usual. Uh, amazing Samus victories with Morris Code. Uh, not the Samus is low tier, but, you know, just a very underrepresented character in the meta right now. Uh, even saw Aqua's link put in some work, so uh, the fact that, you know, Pikachu kind of lacking behind, uh, I think it's kind of strange. Although Swift, uh, you know, being a... Uh, right. You know, Swift being one of those Pikachus now is, uh, is good. Add some things, because it used to just be us. But uh, enough of that. Uh, let's talk about how Dip one stock away from eliminating uh, normality in the winner's bracket. A pretty close match so far. I like the idea that Shine, nonetheless, doesn't get enough drift, and that can happen to Dr. Mango. So now it's tied up. One apiece. Oh, I like the Shine. And the Nair, too. That was crucial there, and that's going to be it there. Dip going to win 2 nothing over normality. Yeah, so smart to Nair. Uh, lesser... Lesser Falcos, they would have dared there. They would have dared there. But Dip just holding out that Nair, which is so strong there at the ledge, to just hold off any sort of attempt for uh, Fox to get back uh, into center stage. And uh, that ends up doing it for him, especially with that F smash. Just kind of shook uh, was normality. And Dip taking it 2 0. So uh, impressive uh, first match one there, as we uh, will see. We'll see Johnny versus R2. This is R2's first time at Xanadu. He's been playing for a while, but uh, he uh, he's never been to Xanadu. Uh, super, super chill Virginia guy. Uh, Falcon and Fox main, although he said he's going Fox this tournament. So, uh, I mean, especially against Falco, I wouldn't uh, expect him to go Falcon, even though you know, I would like it. I would, uh, you know, I always like seeing my boy up there, my boy Falcon. Nonetheless, uh, R2 going to go up against Johnny. Johnny, a really good uh, Falco who I think is very representative of, like, oh, okay, never mind. I am not going to be able to cast this. I'm facing normality. I just, uh, oh, well, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. But uh, good luck to R2 as he uh, fades off against Johnny here in this uh, match.
Yo, uh, this is Symphony. We have a game three on our hands. It's R2 versus Johnny. And, uh... This is R2's first time at Xanadu for the weekly. He's gone to monthlies before, but... Um... Yeah, shout out to R2 for bringing... the... the Virginia bus... right on over to Xanadu today. Archer's gonna take the lead for this game three. Let's see what Johnny's gonna do to close out that stock. He doesn't want any percent more. Finds an opening with laser. Oh my gosh, but R2 just say, get off me with these bears. Low bears, now he's uh bearing him. Ooh, get up attack just barely, yeah, like hitting R2 there. But R2 can still take this stock. Okay, never mind. I think that's gonna do it. Unless. Oh no. Oh dude. Oh, another back there. Oh, that was kind of sweet. If it landed, right? Nice to kind of just like dash dance, waiting for the bear to land. I mean the bear to land. And covers ledge with down smash. R2 is up two stocks over Johnny. I want to see some, um, why should I approach you from R2 right now? You know, I'm in the lead, and I think we're seeing, I think we're seeing a bit of it. But how can I make this, this stock at 157% count? And it's looking like it, dude. Oh! That almost looked like it wasn't gonna hit, but it still makes it work. Dips with the shine. There. Johnny's gonna have to climb a tall mountain to make this back. Opening here though. Thank <laughs> you. 
Good stuff to R2, taking it over Johnny, 2-1. Love to see it, you know, Johnny being here for the first time for a weekly is dope. But uh, next we got Oh, I don't know. I'm just listening for who's going to come out now. Oh, Luis and Melon. Another Virginia um, versus Mal Maryland show. I like this. You know, two back to back, MD versus VA matches. Hoping to go Marth today. Last week he did show up. You know, just like R2, uh, I think last week was also his first time coming for a weekly. So, you know, love to see some of these uh, Virginia homies pull up for the, the Wednesday's interviews, you know? But um, last week, Melo went Falco. And Falco is probably maybe his second best secondary, I think. Ooh, that airbus sucks. And so, um, didn't get as good of a run as I think a lot of us would expect last last week, but Melon picking Marth, I think we might see a pretty good run for Melon today. Melon, obviously, I mean, he was probably... Or not probably, he was most definitely in the conversation when it came to, you know, summit qualifiers and whatnot. Although my boy didn't nab the, the spot this year. Um, I definitely encountered a couple others that, were, that thought Melon was already in it the whole time and came to the surprise that he wasn't there. So, I mean, just showing like the caliber of, of, of Melon, you know. Ah, oh, Luis, not a good SD. I don't think she's happy about that, really, because I, I, I see what I see how she she's playing this game and oh nice spot dodge and it just feels like she's pressing like slightly more inputs than the last game which is dope it's like you know like I think she's locking in but that SD sucked but she's, she's making it work dude only 39% is actually not that bad ooh CC down smash mm. Right, three stocks apiece. Whoa, that up there. Oh, interesting. Melon there. 
just crouching, just kind of waiting to see what Luis's option is going to be, you know, off the off the ground. Yeah, I think that I'm sure we should do it. Oof. Oh wow, that was a very like um, kind of deceptive fade back there from Luis, but that one capitalizing. Ooh, little platform movement. Mm, that bear barely missing because uh, Melon being ready to side B to you know stall or give him a little more air time to avoid it. Very smart for Melon. Good situ uh, situation awareness. Ah, uh, Luis, going for some swag, but um, Melon punishing with back air. Bear or dare. CC. Good stuff to Melon. You know, I feel like I feel like Marth is the. I don't know if we have any Overwatch heads. Any Overwatch heads here. Marth is most definitely the Moira of melee. Probably that or Sheik. Marth is totally the Moira of melee. It's crazy. You just. It's just like it. It, it looks. It honestly looked kind of um, kind of fricked. Just the whole uh, aerial leading into aerial leading into aerial leading into aerial, and then up tilt and the other stuff. And, it, it, and oh, I mean, obviously that's highlighted too due to the fact that we went to Yoshi's, which I'm also surprised we um, went to Yoshi's. I guess Luis decided. I mean, Marth Marth has a, a, a lot of you know, coverage on Yoshi's. And I mean, I guess Falco has a you know, side B off the top. But, um, hey, what if? We got Skittles versus, I think, uh, Stan? No, I don't know who Stan is, but... It's dope to see a new face here. We got a Falco Ditto ahead of us, too. So, I think... If if my assumption is correct that Stan is from MD, this is our third back-to-back -back Virginia versus Maryland match on stream. Stan's playing. Yeah, the backer. Alright, I want to see Skittles turn up a little. Back throw forward smash, I don't even know even if that, that percent it could even be a mix-up. But what do I know? I mean, it's, uh, Skittles. Skittles plays the problem already. Laser into the air. Skittles with a little nod. I think uh, coming to really respect his opponent now, which is great. Wow, Stan doing a great job at just like knowing when to come in. Yeah, wow, that was good. The bear 
Stan's gonna take game one. Stan strikes me as a very methodical neutral player. Let's see what changes Skittles can make. Goodness. Stan is really applying the pressure here. Oh my god, saving him though with the up -y. Okay, the laser reset. Uh, he wanted to get the shield drop in there. Stand. Oh my goodness. Ooh, good back air. Another one? Going for the laser forward smash. Four stock lead right now to stand. Surprising, I think a lot of us uh, in the venue today uh, just stands uh, ability. Clearly a seasoned Falcon. That makes it to see his run. Uh, kind of, uh, I think uh, all Hunter was expecting a roll there, putting his up there catch it. Nice reverse bear. This is the playstyle I'm used to seeing from Skittles, the one right now on display. Ah, uh, missed the, I don't know if he was trying to CC or spot dodge for that, but get up tech, messing up his goal. Oh, nice fair. Another up B into the, damn. Good stuff to stand. Well played. And Skittles, look, look. Skittles is a type of player who won't let it won't let a match like that get to his head like post game like it's I think um, I think he's hungry for the next time to see each other. He's he's probably just like I, I want to play another set right now. But hey man, that happens. I think he's I think we got our bro coming. What's good, homie? What's good, Alejandro? We got skills. You're asking me what happened? Bro, I mean, there's only so much I could say. You you tell me, bro. You, you were in the... You were on the... <laughs> you were on the setup. Yeah. Um, I got cooked. I got cooked. This guy's pretty good. Bro has some movement. It has like bro, a good amount of mix-ups. He does have some movement. So like, mix -ups. what I was noticing a lot, and I started figuring it out towards the end, right? Yeah. You know, I'm an aggressive Falco, and yeah. he, you know, he was also playing a little uh, aggressive. But once he saw that I was gonna come in really hard, he started taking advantage of it a lot. I saw him like waiting before he would go in that, a lot, just like yes. waiting for me to do something. Yes. Which is, you know, that that's what melee boils that, down it is. to a lot. Yeah, a lot, right? Uh, and yeah, he was doing that a lot. But I just started noticing and picking it up more, especially on uh, second game Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. And I got a, I got a little second win there, but definitely need. Who you play? Oh, are you ready to play again? You're in losers now. You ready? Yeah. yeah. I'm ready. I bet. Good luck, bro. The Skittles losers run. Oh, but now we are finally breaking the MD versus VA stream streak. 
and we got a carpool match. Both the Virginia homies fighting it off. Malachi versus Mel. I like the up throw. Oh my god! Melon has those. I guess he. F I guess he does, dude. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him do that. But he has them. And Malachi likes to go for that Zare or the Z drop turn up a lot against Mark. So the fact that Malon has that in his arsenal is um, is going to actually probably help him a good a good amount getting back to stage against Malachi. But we will see how that inspires. Right now, <coughs> Melon's just trying to end the stock. Oh, good air. Okay. Oh no, that was almost going to be ugly. Disgusting. Oh my god, this pressure right now. Okay, Malachi getting a Nair out of it. Still on stage. Power shield saving him here. Z drop. Is he gonna do no. Oh, okay. Last one. Melon's playing really well. Oh my god, that's not a good position to be in. That Nair almost hit him, but luckily they, they traded there, bringing Malachi back a little to not get that punish further. Oh my god, these turnips are so awesome. I think Melon's caught this turn around a little there. Oh my god, he slipped it again, dude. You're so sick. What was I telling you, dude? The fact that he has it is going to make recovering against Malachi a lot easier. And the up tilt's going to do it. Good stuff to Melon taking game one. Holy crap. Those last two stocks he was playing were on fire. Oh wow, he even read the uh, the air dodge onto the top platform, Melon did, but missed his um, his up air, I think he was going for. Great awareness. Melon's holding center really well. Oh, barely missing the turn. Try to uh, jab the turn up there. Oh, turn up helping him again. We're seeing a lot of uh, 
cases where the turnip is actually saving a little more than it actually is. Melon keeping this very close. Oh, nice. Yeah, using the top platform to kind of just like uh, deceive his way in. He's thinking the Malachi's about to like rush it. Start Alright, I don't know, I maybe mean, that's a little too much. I don't want to get too lost in the sauce. I like that he went back to the ledge as opposed to on the stage. Yeah. Um, yeah. Up he had a shield. gonna get a dare there. That would have been insane. Oh my god. Nice uh, tomahawk. Oh, that was kind of good. I'm to kill. Okay, more than content in this space is uh, himself and his turn out. Oh, early up B. Throwing the turn on hands also. Not fair with uh, that start off. Yo, one Gimpy Dare can do it though. Unless Malachi just closes this out now. Yeah. One one. But despite the counter pick, I'd say Mel's uh, still keeping up pretty well. Now we're on Mel's counter. Pick. Yeah, I don't know about that second dash attack. Because, like, from the moment you start the dash attack to the moment you end the dash attack animation, like, the distance you travel within it, ooh, that was dope, can still be caught by down smash. So it's like... I don't know. Oh, he just threw that. How can Mel hold this lead? Okay, that, I think I think the, the counter is right there. I don't know if they haven't been all yet. But unless Mel is using that to condition. He did a 
expect me to do thing again, then I never do. <coughs> uh, ooh, nice DI again. Great DI from Ellen. Avoiding the dare and air off the ledge. that Melon opted to just up B onto platform as opposed to just like back to the ledge because Malachi looked uh, well into position to just kind of get an advantage on that. Yeah. 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 Alright, so Malika's up 2 1. Ready? And Colin. Instead of. No shoes. So I don't want to deal with your platforms anymore. Oh my god, is that gonna hit? Oh. Oh my god! It's just to see Bella's going to about like coming back with the you know, the up B backwards into the turn up to the back to the stage is so cool. Mm, that dot I might oh my god. I didn't look good for Malachi for a sec. Oh, 
stocks a piece. Malachi played very turn up heavy this stock. Kind of just remembering that, like, if he does that, like, what the hard do is only be able to protect all of Dash attack, catching his dash now. I think in that scenario, like when you reflect it and you're about to go in, like just get the grab, I think, you know, because the shield's still gonna be up and I don't I, I really don't think the forward smash is gonna quit. Ah, missing the there. Stock here for our FG. Oh, that's it. Oh, God. Let's get away from those friends. I love how he waited for that spot dodge. Right before that there. Oh my god, the spot on. Ah. Don't wanna be above Malachi without the either side be there. Oh, I can see. Let's close it. We have a game five. I'm telling Malachi, like, not all these energies are free, bro. Not if I'm gonna be. Ah. Yeah, the dreaded uh, FOD platforms. Com combined with the height of Marth. Could spell doom for Melon, but Malachi really just holding center on this off and turn up. Malachi's trying to find an opening this He's so neutral very hard right now. Five. What? This is an epic game five, dude. Melon's crazy. Melon is actually so sick. The last time I played Melon, our games were a lot closer. Oh, truth. Like, like they were last what, what time. And for how uh, long? 
What did you say? How long ago was that? That was like a month ago or oh, two shit. months ago or something. Okay. But I, I think I've been talking to Melon recently. He, he's been talking about getting a little more of his drive back. Yeah. You know? Yeah, he was talking about that on the ride here, too. So I uh, definitely see it. And today when he played me, he, he felt way cleaner than the last time I played him. So Kevin's definitely on some shit today. Yo, I think but, Malachi would say the same exact words you just said. Yeah. With how this sounds going. Precisely. I mean, Malachi is backed into a corner, dude. He really he's is, dead from dude. that up till. Malachi is, like, he's behind right now. Beating no Malachi for people around here is like trying to beat, like, like take a game out of Armada. Yeah, you know? actually. Like, it, he has this just impossible to kill energy. And Literally. even if you win neutral a bunch and get him to super high percent, that's not a guarantee that he's just going to die from one hit, you know? Yeah, actually. So, the fact that Melon's taking him this far shows great mental fortitude. Yeah, I agree. Kevin Votus oh, uh, yeah. Melon, Ooh, aka yeah. Kevin, Melon Votus coolest play style in the region. Oh my god, that's right. From our poll. From the superlatives. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'd say Melon's play style is very cool. Yeah. It's only gonna get Maybe cooler it was from Big here. Big Matt. Who, I thought it was Melon that one. I know he was definitely the nominee. Yeah, it was him, Big Matt, and Guru. But yeah, I thought Melon got it. And I, I would agree that Melon is the coolest. Nice oh, tech, great recovery. I was Mel gonna say, his defense is so Something good. Something I was about to say about yeah. Melon just in general is that his recoveries are, uh, it reminds me of Gibbles. Yeah. Gibbles is another Mart that is incredibly dif difficult to uh, edge guard conventionally. You yeah. Know? But Malachi, being the top player, pulling in the lead for the first time, uh, probably all game. Yeah, it feels like it, right? And how do you deal with this as Melon? This is probably the hardest thing to deal with if you're the person trying to make the upset. Is the uh, the top player at the last second gets a little bit a uh, bit of oh, momentum. That, oh, that that's was it. so nice. He just did a little little jump. He just dunked him. Waited. Yeah. That was uh, some basketball. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh geez. Okay. Ooh, we Malachi. got getting the W. Melon down 50, oh my god. but anything could truly happen. Huge punish right oh, now. The Big tipper. tipper. That was a uh, great DI by Malachi. Trying to end it all. Uh, what oh is Melon God, doing? Barely missed. This is ridiculous. Malachi barely Get escaping. Get away from up above, above him. No, oh, great fair. call out. Oh my Damn, God. that's a heartbreaker. That really oh. is. Damn, yo, dude, dab me up. <laughs> that was a good what a set. set. That's got to be the best set they've played against each other. For oh. sure, dude. Ah, damn, Melon kept it together, but Malachi uh, was relentless. Yeah. Finishing the combo off him was impossible. He kept down airing or air dodging. ASDIing down something to escape it. And he just caught his jump, right? With yeah. A, with a fair. For sure. Jump. Yeah. Yeah, Malachi is crazy. Malachi I definitely uh, think that that was a clutch AF. I'm actually heartbroken. Now I have to fight the loser of this set. Tybex versus Stan. Oh, true. Yeah. Stan, thoughts? I haven't seen Stan. At I've Santa played before. him in friendlies, okay. like a couple before Bracket started. Yeah. Uh, he's good. I think he's the best Falco here. That's crazy. Um, I think he's better than I am. But I think I can beat him, though. Oh, totally. Um, he didn't feel, like, wow. un unbeatable or anything. Yeah, he, but he definitely got some technology. Yeah, he does. Um, Tyvex, on the other hand, uh, Tyvex is, like, really good. Mm -hmm. Like, Tyvex, I think if he actually traveled to enough tournaments, would probably be top 20 in region, or, you know, commonly considered to be top 20 in region. Mm -hmm. But uh, he just doesn't, I mean, he just had a child, so, you know. That'll he gave it. birth. Would you believe that? It was extremely painful, considering he's male, but it was a miracle. I'm so happy for Tybex. I know. It's a scientific the breakthrough. Miracle of birth. Miracle child. So, we're going to Battlefield. <laughs> I mean, so if Stan can take this set, that's gonna like that's gonna be very like it's gonna be solidifying really his place as energy. Because I mean, is this your first time seeing him today? Uh, Stan. Yeah, uh, Stan. Here. Yeah, he. So so I looked at his PG stats because I'm a weirdo and ooh, great arms attack, but covering it with the back air. Also not killing too. Tybex with amazing DI. That should be it though. Yep. Down air to up air, uh, true versus pretty much any character. That's if true. you're playing Falco, um, 
the percent obviously is variable, but uh, anyway, uh, I was looking up uh, Stan's inf intel. And yeah. Apparently, he's from Florida originally, and then was also doing a stint in Texas, a where stint. he where he performed competitively within region. No Texas way. is a pretty damn good region. I don't know if you know. Texas is very good. So. Uh, yeah, and apparently he lives in Silver Spring, which is only like 20 minutes away. So I wonder uh, if he just moved here. He did. Oh, that's so. So good. we got another good player. New here. Falco in the region. I that's know. awesome. This is so sick. And apparently he's moving to Baltimore. So oh, it's a wrap. So, so he's he's coming to Casa all the time. Oh, for now, sure. Baby. We're indoctrinating him. He's gonna take 11 Jeeves and do the 911 <laughs> Jeep challenge. We got all sorts of surprises ready for you, Stan. You have no the choice. The Baltimore is. MK Ultra was just the beginning. <laughs> this is uh oystification. But anyway, um What are your thoughts on Gaze Boist? On what? Gaze Boist. Gaze Boist? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know I don't think I've heard that word before. All right. okay. Or is it a band or no no, no 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 no. It's a uh, it's the most powerful being in the universe. Oh, are they a player? Yeah, well, yeah. To, to call him a player would be, you know, uh, it's you. It would be, you know, one dimensional. No, no. They uh, it's, they are like more more like a celestial entity. So. Oh, they're a concept. Oh yeah, yeah. Man, myth, legend, gaze blast. Oh, that's a, that's pretty sick. Yo, hey, Tybex kind of butts his back. Yeah, what, Tybex what is kind of crazy. This is the last dog. Basically, it's Smash and JHU. There was a guy, and his tag was Gazebo Whisk. Like, oh, someone yeah. that likes gazebos. That's, that's kind of silly. And so, my friend Jared, who's like a Jersey Guido, when he read the name off for bracket, he said, uh, Hey, Gaze Boist! <laughs> you gotta play on setup three. <laughs> Where was this? This is in Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. And so the guy was like, Hey, actually, my tag is Gazebo Whisk. <laughs> it's like, Gaze oh. Boist, come on, you're holding the bracket. So, uh, yeah, now now we know the real, or the how it's actually pronounced. Exactly, yeah, exactly. We're going to keep messing it up, you know. That's the story. That's more fun. Yeah. Uh, Tybex definitely closing that out with uh, some Marth uh, metagame. <laughs> some uh, some Vendrick Lamar inspired play. But Stan is going to fight with a vengeance uh, and hopefully... Oh my god, uh, just one shield grab. <laughs> wow, like. that was diabolical by Tybex. Tybex is a diabolical man. He definitely, uh, he's super nice, and I think he's really, really sweet. Uh, but just in the way he plays, there's just a, just a sinister kind of nature to his decision making. Because he's a very smart guy. You can feel it. You can see it. Yeah. You know? Ooh. See, like, crazy option to forward air there instead of up air when uh, fucking Stan landed on the platform. Uh, Most Mars are trying to get, like, a guaranteed combo, but Tyvex is just trying to hold positioning for as long as possible. It's very smart. Alrighty. Jeez. That was a tip, right? Yeah, that was a tip, right? Oh, jeez, Rick. I'm kind of getting caught in the tear. God. No. No, no, okay. okay. Not, no, Wall jump side B. Cerebral. When you've been playing Falco for two weeks, that's the coolest technique that you've ever seen in your life. Wall jump into insta side B. So you dope. feel like you're in the Matrix. It actually works. Oh, oh! Cheesing him. Okay. My tea's gone cold. Oh I wonder why I got out of bed at all. And... Oh, wow. Slimmate ledge. I'm seeing a lot of these, like... Uh, shield grabs that just work out for Tybex. Oh, yeah. And he also plays on the corner a lot. Like, very, uh, like, don't play. You know what? Remember when Mewtwo King was, like, the corner god? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I was born. It's reminding me of that a little bit. Just, like, keeps going to the corner. He's waiting for. He just wants to cheese him so Tybex bad. definitely seems like a Mewtwo King inspired. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna hit. 
I still have this jump though. But, uh, it's funny that all the people that were Mutant King inspired are like good players, and all the people that were Mega inspired are bad players. Yeah, it's not how it is. It's like Mega teaches you to just like never ever have to play a neutral game because you're trying to mimic a dude that's like unmimicable. Right. Like Mutant King God. teaches you like melee is fun if it's hilarious, you know? This is a crazy tech chase by yeah. Stan. Oh my god. Oh, oh, the down smash finishing it just a little tad uh, early, but Tyvex nice. countering in the corner. That was not safe. Just one forward smash. We're even. Very cerebral. 1 1. Tyvex versus Stan. Clash of the ages. Stan's hair is so sick. FD, obviously not a fun time. If you got your killer combos with Falco, it could be uh, pretty nasty against Marth, but Marth definitely is much more likely on average to have those uh, locked down. That's it. Oh no, actually great DI by Tyvex. Choosing some real unconventional options, but they are uh, keeping the juggle going. Yeah. Only issue is if you get Falco too high, then like none of your stuff combos together. The Marth right is kicking in. Oh yeah. See, like, this Marth just couldn't be dead right now. That's it. Nice. Literally. Yeah, yeah playing with your food is what it gets you. It gets you sick. You get botulism. Did you ever learn about botulism? I've never heard of it. It's a foodborne illness. One tablespoon of it in New York's uh, water supply would kill the whole city. What? Yeah. Like it's One like the table. like deadliest disease per like square foot, you know, or what or whatever, however they measure it. How do you get your hands on it? I don't know. I think there was like an outbreak like a couple times ever. We learned about it in health class. We learned about E. coli, botulism, salmonella, and uh, probably one other, which I probably forgot. Sorry, Mrs. Hum. You oh, would be disappointed. Dear. Stan. That seems like a tricky dare to land, is it? Like not getting hit by the up B. Yeah, because you have to you have to be low enough to to hit the Marth and also not give them like a rune attack basically. So you have to still have invincibility, still be below the ledge, Obviously, and still have be uh, high enough to land back on stage. Great DI by Tyvex. Oh my god. I think he should have suicided there, low key, but he uh, now ties it up. Actually, this is way smarter. Yeah, That's that why he's out. in winner semis and I'm in losers. So, okay, nice counter. Finally working. Stand the man, calling him out last game, but not uh, expecting it, which makes sense. I wouldn't expect it either. It's like doing insurance fraud. Yeah. And then like the FBI is like, after they they get off, it's like surely they're not gonna do it again. And you're like actually doing it immediately yeah, after. Yeah, do it a dozen times. It's the, only, it's the only thing I know how to do. I, I, it's like heat. It's like I, I don't want to change. Oh, he jumped a little too. Okay, never mind. Oh, oh good read. Sick read. Rolling into the center is desirable there, but I feel like Falco's always know when someone is like scared of being in the corner. Oh, damn. What the Stan did, right? Like he avoided that. He, he's he's been seeing Tyvex go for that fade back. Yeah. yeah, he hadn't done that all set. That was sick. Tyvex kind of a little rattled. I'm kind of scared that I have to fight Tyvex. I think it's kind of yeah, fucked up. This, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's terrible. And he's getting the Falco warm up. That's true. I feel like you and Stan play wildly different. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. No, it's true. Yeah. It's true. Very different Falcos. I've been called a defensive Falco, but I feel like I also play on a different axis than like Shoe Legend, you know? Yes. Like, yes. There are sure. there are so many different play styles with good characters. That is the beauty. Good angle. Yeah. Uh, Stan being up is sick. That was nuts. Tyvek's trying to cheese him right now. Oh, another big forward smash. Another stupid counter. Wow, yeah, that counter was kind of bonkers. 
Sorry, Dybex, but that, the one you got last game was the only one that was going to work. Oh God. Okay, Stan. Trying to get a pillar combo. Dybex, understanding of his percents. Down tilt? Maybe? Oh! Oh my God, yeah. the fast fall. Yeah, that was tricky. The thing with Falco is even though he doesn't have as much distance as other characters on his recovery, uh, where he's going to land is so much more ambiguous yeah. than with pretty much any other character. There's oh, so actually. many different positions from Falco's up B or side B that he could choose to go to. So really is uh, quite difficult. So that's why mix-ups like that are so important to nail. That's life or death. And the Marth right is also setting in. It really is. Big Pharma. 213, like, come on. Bringing down Tyvex. Ah! That's it. At 229%, very normal for any character. <laughs> you know, to confirm it there. Um. Stan not giving it to Tyvex, because they're playing it. Oh, so yeah, dude. Stan's been doing so many uh, fadeback aerials on shield. Oh. Rising Very Bango esque. The for forward air is also yeah, such a good mix so up there. Because cool. forward air, the first hit of it actually pokes pretty high off the ground. Okay. So you can catch people jumping with it. Uh, and it goes pretty far out as well. So. Alrighty. Oh. Stuck its back. Oh, nice coverage by Tybex. Yeah. Wait till the last second. Oh, oh, right there, damn, right there. Tybex gave it to him. What, right? Stan's crazy, dude. Yeah, he's from uh, Florida, and he lived in Texas for a little bit, too. So, I don't know, but he had a 68% win rate on Smash GG, which is pretty hard to have and live in those regions. Yeah, Texas so, and Florida. Like, it's one thing if you live in, like, you know, like Montana Wyoming. or so, yeah, exactly. But like, it's another thing if you, uh, you know, uh, live in Florida wow. or Texas or MDVA. So, and so we just moved here, so now we got a new, yeah, Maryland. Oh, Falco, let's go. That was six, Dan. Good stuff to say. That wave lane back here, so fire. What's up? Dude, I was, I was, I literally told, I literally told the mic that too. Like I was, when, after your set ended, I was like, I know he wants to run it back right now. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I had a feeling. I have to, I have to go play Tybex. Good luck, Luis. Thank you. This is um, a couple storylines today. Very nice. So, uh, we got a uh, Virginia team kill ahead of us. Skittles versus Melon. Who will come out on top? I mean, look, we said Melon is going on a crazy run today. Taking Malachi to game five, last stock. Like, high percent. Nah, because besides, somebody's gonna enter today. I feel a little under the weather. Yo, the core match? That's actually hype. Oh. oh my god, I forgot all about these sound effects. Question, right? So, how how far can gentlemaning to something go? 
like, where's the line that gets drawn for, like, you guys aren't allowed to do that? I'm curious. Because, like, if... You can't change game modes, but they, they can gentlemen to any other stage. Okay. Okay, okay. I just got I just got a clarification. Thank you, Mr. Yeah, because I was wondering, like, what if they actually decided to just, like, yeah, let's just do, like, a coin battle. Best of three. <laughs> and, like, they did it. I'd be like, is that really allowed? Yeah. All right, it's good to know that it's not. I suppose they could gentlemen to a wacky stage. But we're not going to see any of that. I doubt it. I mean, probably just doing a little hand over there. And now... So these guys play a lot, like even friendlies, you know, we're all Virginia homies here. Ooh. Skittles has um, enough experience on Melon where he'll catch on to th some things that, pardon me, that like most Falcons probably won't, who are here today, who have less experience on Melon. Oh, shine. Oh, scoop it up. <laughs> nice ring up. Ooh, and the pivot tipper. Too far for that to land. Maybe he was hoping it would clank to like his down tilt if Melon off for that, but no exchange. Wow, Melon almost doing the same thing he did last time. Yeah, well, jab with that. Melon up 1-0. <laughs>
See, nobody is on comms. I'm sorry, boys. Weird time for commentary to come in, but uh, it looks like Malachi right now is dominating. There's a stand. Uh, a player who is either too old for uh, me to even know of, or uh, is a, a new hotshot here uh, in winner's finals. Uh, just playing a uh, strong game right now, actually up on Malachi. I guess in there, and that is going to be it. So two to two. Stock count. Oh, but Malachi, rare SD there. And also good shield there, too, from Stan. Holding strong. Good power shield, though. Gets the grab because of it. And gets that. Good up air. All right. Does get the dash attack and ties it up. Malachi trying to get it done with as soon as possible, baby. But that up smash, kind of a bit saucy there though. Stan, Stan the man. Oh. That is going to be hit. Stan taking a game off Malachi. It's pretty impressive. You know, not knowing his status, but yeah. No, Stan playing really well. Alright, we're going to FD here between these two. It's a uh, good pick for Malachi because he can start up these chain grabs. Oh, Stan. Yeah, chat, let me know. Let me know. Let me know if you guys know any info on Stan. Give me an info dump. I guess the Nair. Because, uh, you know, a lot of the time, a lot of time, I know my, I know my people. I, I know the, I know the people who come here. I know them well. But uh, the people who uh, you don't always frequent, you know, sometimes you, you never know. So, uh, speaking of never know, you never know if Stan's even gonna get a percent right now, zero to death, and he keeps going with this chain grab. He's just not dropping it, staying solid. And I uh, got almost opting for the lane play there to get in Stan's head. Dash or the now smash. Nice Stan really like uh, like no one knows of him or hey we gonna got some sort of player in here. That's crazy. Oh, I love that lasers right there. Finally getting something. You know, it was looking pretty dire at first, but Stan kind of wave dashing back, holding back. Yeah, just influencing himself in the right positions, the right time, and takes a very smart trade there. Almost gets the upper that would have killed. Down throw. Get good spacing there too. Leads into the upper. Damn, what a combo there by Stan. We stand. That combo right there. Damn, playing like an awfully hot coffee pot right now. Oh. 
Alka just gonna stuff that out. So now Stan on last winter stock here. If he can get something going, now's the time. Oh, I like the shine. Oh, he's looking for the grab there. Nonetheless, double down smash. Up air, double up air. Oh, what a combo there from Malachi. And gets the snipe too. That is going to do it. Malachi taking it. 3 1. So, Malachi, you know, taking it as expected. But Stan making it all the way to winner's finals. And he's not done too. Good performance there from Stan being able to take a game off a top 100 player. Uh, when he kind of came out of nowhere, it was, uh, it was pretty impressive. Like, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty uh, impressive resume so far. But uh, up next, I believe we're going to have uh, Melon uh, and uh, was it Kev, I think? I think it was Kev. Uh, but yeah, that was a, uh, that was a pretty, pretty intense, uh, intense set for a little while there. And then at uh, other parts, it was uh, pretty Malachi dominant. Okay, we're getting uh, the return of Tybex. Tybex... If you don't know, used to come a lot in 2022. Uh, was actually not very present in like 2023 melee, but he has uh, he's come back with a vengeance here, and uh, he's gonna have to uh, defeat Melon though in the Marth Ditto, a Ditto that is known for being pretty volatile. If you ask a lot of Marth players, they're like, "Who wins the Marth matchup?" You know, <laughs> and they're like, "It's uh, it's 80-20 Marth." Uh, definitely a snowball sort of, or some players say it's like 50 fit or like 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> Cause it's, it's just the sort of matchup where sometimes skill can even go out the window. Like it's just wonky as all heck. But, uh, but yeah. Just have a little, uh, stand action there in the corner practicing for his, uh, for his eventual, uh, shot at one of these two. But, uh. In the meantime, we're, <laughs> we're gonna a little break the targets action uh, off screen. If we could cut to that right now, get a little cut into the break the targets. All right. Oh, gets the needle. Tie bags. Oh, he's up. He's there. Kind of gets the slide. 14%. Oh, and he gets. He doesn't get the hitbox there. Gets the jab. Oh, the slides though. Good fair. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Tie bags. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, Tybex also having a Sheik. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. So probably will be going Sheik. And in that occurrence, Melon actually might be going Falco. So remember, instead of the Marth Ditto, we might be seeing no Marths on the screen. So uh, we will see who these characters uh, are gonna be between these two. So yep, Marth Sheik. So we might see the Falco. Oh, wait. We're gonna see the switch. Definitely see the uh, switch in the tire. This is uh, Melon trying to take off the jack. As we uh, take on that week. Butterfingers. Hopefully none of these players have butterfingers. Falco Sheik more even than the Marth Ditto. That's not true. It was like 50. Uh, this is like 50.5. Sheik. Okay. I don't know. Used to be like uh, she just wins, but yeah, Marth's uh, innovating a lot, especially Zane. Zane, uh, big innovator, and it seems like he's had to constantly innovate in this matchup. Uh, so we'll see how Melon can innovate right now. He's just facing Tybex's red cheek. Melon, neutral Marth. Here in this loser semis, ooh, gets the Dunkaroo right away. Melon on the board. First, open it up. That opening stock can be very important to the momentum of the match. There's a good uh, little shield there. Oh, that up B catching him. That back air pretty smart. And gets the Marth Killer too. Melon landing on stage, but that does give Tybex an opportunity to do some stuff. And that is going to tie it up. So Tybex tying it right here. Gets the needles too. Uh, doing a good job at uh, spacing, uh, like, little needle ranges where it's just outside Marth's sword. Uh, that's something that is important for Sheik in this matchup. Uh, I mean, only doing it once, but I'm assuming. Make the right assumption. Oh. Never. 
first jab. Gets the back air, but not enough of momentum to long that fair. I guess a fair there. That was a good shield there too. Tried to avoid the poof and successfully does. Gets the up tilt tipper and that is going to do it. Melon now taking the second stock of Tyvex. So three stocks to two for Melon. As he waits on invincibility. Ah, gets the back air there too. Oh, he's trying to shield drop back down air with good drift as well. Melon so far drifting pretty well. Gets the pummel. Oh, I like the little drift there, but Melon with good defensive DI. Sure. Into up smash with that little wave dash. It's gonna tie it up in a flash. Two stocks to two. We get some needle action going here and gets the F smash there too. Gonna try to look for it. Yeah, gets the up air into the fair. Oh, what a combo there from Melon and uses the European little up B. The uh PPMB, you know, where he would uh, he would up B, moves with down. Yeah, that little up B, it's very nice there. Nicely played for Melon. Damn. Okay. Up to. Jump. Is it up air? Oh, another upper back air, forward air, forward air. Oh, was trying to be saucy. Still recovers there, though. And uh, just one little hit away. Oh, what a down air there from Melon. Destruction, baby. He deletes it. Melon, the coolest player. Yes. Melon is the coolest player in MDB. Every single way. Every single way. Like, you can't, you can't name me a thing. He's not the coolest. The OG. Okay. Throw into the forward smash. Gonna put on a bit of percent. Gets another throw. No follow up there. Now Tybex has him in his grasp. Up tilt, but the slide off. Nice little combo string there. And that's Tybex a little bit of percent tying it up. Good nair there too. Getting the shield poke. Was looking for the uh, needles, but now just waiting that extra beat. Helping him out. Wave dashes back again, and that is going to net him the stock. Tybex not reaching up far enough. Attack. The uh, counter was interesting, but Tybex just not going to give it to him. That counter can be a really bad move sometimes. Like, for real. Like, it feels like that. The reason that, you know, Marth isn't number one is like that counter is just a beat late, and it pushes it back just a tiny bit. Like, if it was better, like, it would be just over for everyone. Because then you, you can land with it better. But like, if you're new to the game, you'll realize whenever you play a good Falco player, I think that that's the person who introduces you to uh, why Mars down B is bad, is uh, they'll just be comboing you for free, comboing you the whole time, and then you'll throw out a down B, and that'll be the one time that they hold back. And they'll space it so that they're not gonna hit by the down B. And uh, then you're like, well, I'm just kind of putting myself in a worse situation. So you can always just wait and react. So, uh, yeah. That'd be more a, uh, I know I'm going to get hit here, so I'm going to use this sort of move. But, uh, you know, throughout history, it's always been like a, also a hard read, a good hard read to be like, hey, you know, I'm not totally free uh, when you get in my shit. But nonetheless, Tybex in the lead here. Was looking for the Nair. Tybex wise to hold up there. Up in the stratosphere. <laughs> the triple? What is his ultimate? Nonetheless, Tybex up from stocks to one. Sick of play there. With the platform too? Oh! Yeah, combo game on display right now. Forward air. Good up tilt there. And that is going to do it. All right. So, oh shoot, let's go. Luis joined me on commentary. What's up? Nonetheless, I join the great Jonathan Lawrence. Why? Thank you, kind Luis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, <Oi>, Sawyer. <laughs> what shall we do today? Uh, Tyvex bouncing back, two stocking melon. Yeah. With a. Uh, Intrinsic, uh, intrinsic fire there. 
being like, I don't want to be down 2-0 here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it aggressive. Tyvex is and, a fierce uh, competitor. Yeah. I see. He, he just lost the stand. Yep. I had to play Tyvex right afterwards. I zero to death Tyvex because I'm so inspired by Stan's performance. Yeah. And then still get 3 out. Like every sure. game is still not close. I'm getting blown up regardless of any inspiration for 10 seconds. Tyvex is uh, out for blood. Choo choo. That is how he always plays. He always, he's always playing in the corner, always playing to get the most efficient, straightforward edge guard. Um, he's great at um, boxing you out position He's not trying to overwhelm you with speed or a flurry of hitboxes, but rather gradually push you to the corner so he can hit you with a straightforward punish. Um, very calculated, very practical. Melon, on the other hand, uh, is like Creative. the slipperiest Marth I can think of, like especially like at this level. You yeah. Know? Yeah, he just uh, glides around like it's ice. Oh, yeah. And just, uh, yeah, very creative player. That's uh, There's a reason why he got voted uh, coolest player in MDPA. Yeah. Yeah, three big things of Melon's play, three huge hallmarks is down air. Like, yep. <laughs> up B. <Yes. laughs> I, was, I literally. Um, and this isn't re really a singular move, but uh, recovery. True. Uh, Melon's recovery is excellent. He's great at getting to the very bottom of a stage and snapping to ledge there. Um, However, Typex uh, great at just getting some uh, safe spacing victories. True. He's playing around the tree, not the best because Melon just cheesed him there, yeah. but you know, what are you going to do? True. Stay it's cheesy, but actually that wasn't that jank though. You know, there's been so many times I've seen the stage just produce like oh, I've the seen absolute, Fox, yeah, you know. The absolute jankiest Jerry stuff. Jerry and Jose to do was like priding himself on being able to like stadium transformation cheese people. True. But um, Melon tying it up, Tyvex, a little bit of a lead. Yeah. Let's see. Okay, tries to tries to get a little grab in the corner. I think one thing Melon is starting to do is he's starting to adjust, like doing like baby wave dashes and just like adjusting his dash dances yeah. so that he's like mixing up Tyvex positionally, so he doesn't have Ooh. just one range. Crazy call out, Melon on the nice mix up there. Tyvex bouncing right back. Gets the down throw. Was looking for the tech chase there, but wise of Mal Tybex to go to the corner. Kind of whiffs the punish on the counter, uh, but cleans it up with a nice down throw up air. It's a great mix up, especially if they're trying to prepare for the forward air. True, true. Ooh, chasing each other. Yeah. Strange enough, none of them get Ooh, each other. yeah. See, seeing that actually was super crucial. Yep. Um, keeps the tech chase going. Good DI there from Tybex to not be put in a situation where he has to uh, face the dare. Yeah, and a great down air to uh, just with the uh, melon combo. But, ooh, trying to be sneaky, grab the ledge with Tybex uh, thinking a step ahead. Yeah. Landing straight on stage. Oh, the oh I d wow, actually recovering immediately so Tybex couldn't prepare himself. That was smart. Great, great mix up by melon, I was telling you, his recoveries. Yup. Yeah. Is a uh, one, one of his big pillars. True, true. Now he's up two one. He's about to eliminate Tyvex. Yeah, this is a kind of a shocker. Tyvex potentially going home in fourth place. Yeah. Melon was the four seed, and uh, Stan was the. It probably three seed, very I believe. Oh damn. Um, Do you know any information about Stan? So he's from Florida originally, and then also did a stint in uh, Texas. So, uh, and he has a 68% win rate on Start GG, which is not easy to have yeah. if you live in those regions. Sure. <laughs> specifically. Yeah. I already said this earlier tonight, but I am emphasizing that, like, and in MDVA, same thing. A lot of the people that have a win rate comparable to that either live in a little satellite state or they're a PR player. So. True. Uh, Stan being in top three here indicates that he potentially uh, is in that conversation. Yeah. Exciting. It'll be exciting to see if, uh, you know, I think he's going to be here, right? He, yeah, he moved to, like, he said around Silver Spring, so. Oh, sick. Ooh, that's it. Yes, yeah, so well, closing it out. 60% is a really early percent to kill a sheik at. True. Yeah, that's so crucial. Because now you, you have a bit of uh, creativity that you can do on sheik, and crouch cancels are going to matter less. Yeah. Ooh, genius air dodge getting over around the needles. Um, Tybex has not had any percent added to him, so that's good, but um, not anymore. But cleans it up. Only a stock away. Sheik can do anything, but he is down too. 
Yeah. Okay. I like the spacing there from Melon, yep. but nonetheless, Tybex actually going for it there, getting a combo there, 45%, but good. Nice oh, punish, but Melon's gonna get a punish of his own. Yep. Uh, no, that really sucks, actually. Tybex has been kinda, kinda flubbing on some of his recoveries today, I noticed. Yep. Maybe he's a little, a little distracted or something, but... Um, ooh, the Cerebral Mind Games. Oh, I like that, that too. That was sick. Wait. That's nasty. This is why he's the coolest player in the region, according True. to our little sheet. True. It feels like he's just in Tybex's head. He just can read. You know, whatever he's gonna do. Yeah. Melon is playing really safe and he's just kinda unconcerned, right? He has a big ass lead. He's milking it. True. Tybex's not giving up, but uh, Melon is definitely slowly picking him apart. Yeah. A bit by bit. Okay. Oh, he's trying to be saucy. Let's see what he does. Oh, oh that was it. That was sick. That was the melon up bees, I'm telling you, they are a fucking staple. They're so good. So, uh, losers finals. These two have not played today. Stan and Melon. Mm. I'm could, excited. Could not be more exciting, actually. Dude, actually, that's awesome. Yeah. Mar Marth Falco. Sick matchup. Yeah, no, matchup. no, for sure. And Melon is playing hot today. Melon almost beat Malachi. Smoked me. Smoked uh, Skittles. Um, just beat Tyvex. Now is coming up on another Falco. Has played a lot of spaces today. True, true. What can he do? And Stan uh, beat Tybex's Marth. So, true, true. Yeah, we we not see the Marth ditto between Tybex and Melon, but yeah, you unfortunately, know. yeah, that's okay. Yeah, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, you know, I, I com yeah, hey, hey. tell you what. I compromised. Hey, T. I didn't uh, watch the Marth matchup. Where's the Gabagool? <laughs> you know. Yeah. I uh we uh, he was in the racetrack, you know, for these uh video game tournaments, yeah. you know. They come out they uh use the controllers and they play the game. Yeah. Tell you what, about Martin. I compromised. Hey, I went listen. chic. I compromised. I lost the melon. Martin was like playing fucking slot machines, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Hey, in this house, the Martero is great to watch. Hey. It's great theater. Hey. He's a hero. Mart was a great Italian, a hero, AJ. Yeah. <laughs> No, in this, in this house, Cat Falco Mark is a was hero. Mark was Catholic. Yeah, yeah. And you respect me. Yeah. Falco's, an, an, Falco's an animal. Hey, he's a Lombardi. Hey, yeah, he's, he's a, a Lombardi. proud Italian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they oppressed him, AJ. Yeah, it's like, but the bombing run of 2000XX yeah, like, uh, Dad, that they did on shot innocent, guy. innocent civilians in this house. Uh, enough of this Falco's disrespect, AJ. I'm sick of it. Sure. <laughs> sick of your mother. You sick of the ducks leaving, you know. Yo. Bye, Russell. Aww. I'll see you, brother. It's so good seeing you. Adios. Thanks for showing up. GG's. Catch you soon. True. I will catch you next week, bro. All right. Well, Russell saved you people from the Sopranos. <laughs> Continuing, but... True, true. Uh, either way, I don't know why it's taking so long for people to stand open or what's... Uh, yeah. I think... Uh, the scenic floor. Yeah. This is like a Stanley Kubrick movie. You know, it's all about the composition. Yeah. Now, Melon is... Uh, Melon's kind of giving him the Eminem treatment, you I know what I mean? He's not responding. Yeah. Stay Why won't you give me the call, Smell? And while he stands tough, <laughs> notice that this man did not have his hands up. Yeah. Where's that from? It's from 8 Mile. Oh! I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking about 8 Mile, like Eminem, like the rap battles. Yeah. 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 It's been a while since I've seen it. That's, uh, that's when he's talking about how Papa Doc is actually a square. This man's a gangster. His real name's Clarence. <laughs> Clarence is at home with both parents. Clarence's parents got a real good marriage. And then he was so insulted, he vowed to join the Supreme Court. He didn't want to battle. He shook because the rain was such thing as halfway crooks. Uh, so the Nest CPU winning that matchup. Yeah, the uh, Nest CPU, it, it's, this is also what? like gambling. True. Have you ever run a CPU tournament before? No. The Captain Falcons usually do great. Because the CPUs are the only things that are dumb enough to get hit by Falcon Punch. <laughs> True. So it is like definitely an effective bet. What about, I'm guessing Ganon? Ganon's good, Luigi's good. Peach uh, probably pretty bad. Or actually, no, Peach down smash. The Peaches don't know how to be like good though. Yeah, Jigglypuff pretty bad. The Jigglypuff cannot rest for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think the Falco might be okay, but he probably kills himself a lot too. 
but yeah. You know what? Low key, I actually feel like the Falco CPU is better than the Fox CPU. Hot take. Kinda, yeah, because you have to be kind of good to be good with Fox. Yeah. Fox is kind of easy to be bad with. Yeah, I think it's also like the priority. Like the Falco, more than any other character, you can kind of just like throw out a move to get somebody, like to have somebody get hit by it, you know what I mean? Whereas like Fox, yeah. it's a bit more like uh, I have all the options, but it, you know, Falco's more like I lean into the strength. Whereas like Fox, just I have everything. I'm rich. Uh, you know. Apparently, Anakin has 21 unique world records. In, uh, yeah, Mario Kart. Yeah. He's a fiend. Mario He's a, Kart. I, I knew Tyler was good. He's so humble about it. True. Yeah, he, uh, I think that's the first game that he, uh, like, took, like, really serious. More than Smash. Oh, I see. I yeah. See. If Damn. anything, he's a Mario Kart player Damn, before he's playing he's, uh, clone hero over here. Damn. That is pretty badass. Yeah. Level 9 Ganon's true. Man, I, did you go to, uh, you weren't at uh, Flipside, right? The I was not. I have not been able yeah. to go to Flipside. I really want yeah. to, because that's one of our newest popping up ones. I want to go to that, and I want to go to the Frederick one, too. Yeah. 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 I need to check out both of those. True. Um, yeah. Yeah, the thing about the, uh, yeah, that tournament, you know, uh, if somebody asked me, like, you know, where I was on January 6th, right, you know, yeah. I'd tell them I was at that tournament. At the flip you know, that side. Was, I, was, I was at not, the flip side January not, tournament. Not at the Magachu you know? secret <laughs> Discord yeah. call. Yeah. yeah, I wasn't putting my uh, red uh, Pikachu hat on yeah. with that one. Exactly. Uh, but, yeah, I did the uh, the Level 9 Ganon Challenge Ooh, there. Nice. And uh, I was... Uh, I now know how speedrunners feel as we get into this uh, Losers Finals. Uh, Ooh. San versus Ooh, Melon Stan with a going Fox. Fox. Let's go. Let's see how it uh, can cook. I heard he was warming up some Fox and uh, friendlies, actually. Although I saw Falco mostly all over his profile. And obviously, he's been playing Falco all of today. True. But kind of odd. He went Falco versus uh, Tybex and won. So I wonder why the Fox. Uh, maybe, maybe, he, maybe, maybe he just watched Melon play and was just like, I need to do this. True. I need to use the secret you know, weapon that we have. Yeah. Just trying to hit him with some unfamiliarity. But I feel like the way Melon's punish game is going, you actually more want to go toe for toe rather than be like, okay, I can DI out. Because he's just finding so many creative options right now yeah. to kill. Yeah, dude. And like I said before, that down air setting up an amazing up tilt tech chase. True. Uh, sort of evading uh, the Marthritis that we were seeing more uh, prevalently in earlier sets. Yeah. Get down to the forward smash. Oh! oh the Kevin Maple wow, is incident. Wow, the reverse. Wow! Oh Got the crazy ass angle. That Dude. was sick. Now you know, if uh, you're an MDVA and you see the down air hit up, somebody's in trouble. That's, That's usually the Marth. It is usually the Marth. Ooh, really tight spacing right now. Yeah, unfortunately so messes game. up the up B there. Rare up B miss. Okay, that should be it though. I like these forward airs, very safe. But yeah, I, when I did the level 9 Ganon challenge, I now know how uh, speedrunners feel when they're their first to uh, to get a world record and yeah. then it gets beat like two days later. Yeah, literally. Because I, I was the first one to do it. I like, I grinded that and I did it and then I was like, let's go. Uh, what do I win? And it's like, well, uh, other people who are still in bracket, you know, we have to give them a chance. Yes, yeah, exactly. And I'm like, no, exactly. Oh, and, great. And over the course of a day, you're like at like True. an auction, you know? Yeah. You're like, surely no one outbids me. Like, yeah. Surely there's no nepotized idiot here that, yeah. you know, wants. No, it's, well, it's, it's definitely not like an auction, because in an auction, I would have won, but, you know, it was uh, it was not a time based thing. It was just, you know, by the end of the day. And uh, quote beat me out for it. So I, see. Geo, I was like, "Damn, I can't. Rot dog. <laughs> I can't. I can't have anything. I can't even have the, the level nine challenge." Geo lives to terrorize anyone that he can. He can't do it to everyone, but he, he can do it to you know a decent bit of people. That the list is growing. True. Yeah, Geo uh, finally having the glow up. Yeah. One thing I will say is, uh, yeah, for that Ganon challenge, the the trick Ooh. is. Uh, because they're all, uh, you can't just get them to hit each other because we had team attack off. Yeah. So yeah. the trick was just to, to hang at ledge and then just jump down and jump up with the, like, just refresh your invincibility. Yeah. And eventually one of the Ganons will go down, they'll hit into each other, and one of the Ganons will push the other Ganon off. Oh, so I love that. 
forcing them to kill each other. True. And then you just, like, once there's two left, then it's manageable. You should work for our government, Johnny Lawrence. This is a great strategy. I should try to become a teacher, so... Aw, I love that. I'm trying to be a teacher, too. It's awesome. What are you, uh, what are you trying to teach? Like history or English or something? How about you? Uh... I'm, uh, I'm trying to teach science, but, uh, right now... Let's do it. Stan trying to teach him Ooh, a lesson. No, oh, no! That was almost a crazy tech, but he actually, uh, misinputted that air dodge. That sucks. Yeah. That was really close, though. Mel and I thought kind of had it, and then Stan was just sort of, you know, creeping up on him. True. Definitely not free. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. Flo Jam says, I heard a golden eye runner call that getting speed cocked. <laughs> getting speed cocked. That's amazing. That is very funny. Yeah. Okay. I love, uh... Imagining James Bond saying that. You have just gotten speed cut. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. I banged your wife. Shane grabbed you on yeah. final destination. Yeah. Sean right. Connery. Right now, Melon speed fucking stand right now. It's going off. Okay, there we go. Goodbye. Oh. See you later, kid. That's crazy. Down Tilt City. Choo choo. Oh. Like the spacing there on that back air. The drift from Stan has been insane so far. Oh. Ooh, nice cover on the arms attack. Ah, oh, I thought he was gonna down smash actually. I think that could have worked a little better there. Yeah. But maybe Melon would have tech that anyway, and then it wouldn't have mattered. Okay. Great spacing by Melon to escape the corner with that wave dash up tilt, catching the uh, greediness on that grab. True. Melon, nonetheless, up a tiny bit in percent, but nonetheless, pretty Nonetheless, I am Johnny Lawrence, and I killed Franz Ferdinand. From the black hat. From the black hand. Damn, I was trying to replicate, uh, like, the sound of running away. <laughs> you got me. Cloppity clop. Yeah. Like, two coconuts together. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Stan... Stan is an Eminem song, but Stan is also a baller Stacey player that is uh, trying to kill Melon and destroy. his family. Destroy him. Domination of the spirit. It's like being an oilman. Yeah, I love just extending the combo, knowing Melon is not going to give him a kill. Nonetheless. Oh, oh no. Wow. Wow, that arms attack getting covered by up smash. Damn. Too sick. Yeah, that's uh. That's uh, the whole. I gotta fulfill my commentary duties. The whole know. thing about uh, 2024 after, melee after. is uh, those arms attacks that five years ago uh, would have been, uh, you know, a big deal. People just cover them now. Yeah, people. We have flow charts. To, true, true. You know, yeah. dismantling everything now. Yeah, he's playing hot. He's playing too nice right now. Yeah. Melon trying to find a reversal in the corner, but that's not gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, good job, good job from Stan there too to recognize and just hold on ledge. Yep. Uh, get Marth that. Martha's one of those characters where even though he has a pesky recovery, you really can flow chart him if true. you have a read on someone's timing. True, true. Yeah, Martha is uh, just that tiny bit more linear, where it's just like that side B is just a setup for distance, and then uh, up B is a uh, set, gonna be the similar angle most of the time. So. Oh, man. Stan showing that uh, FD not a single problem for him. As he uh, tries to set up Marth Killer, but instead jumps the ledge. So uh, Melon uh, just a bit mixed up there and uh, ends up the first stock. Melon looking for a grab. Not going to give it to him. Stan. Oh. Get the eye there. Oh, I love that combo. there we go. Yeah, good grab there on the ledge. And now it's going to be tied up. The little uh, no action there does read the getup attack is Fox. Fox with Cloud. Good air. Bring it up. Up to Bees! Dale. I know, it's crazy. Bees are dangerous if there's a, too many of them. Yeah. Speaking of which, Melon right now. There, there might be too many bees in this combo. Yes. 
Boo! Damn, what a prediction there. I yeah. ended with the B. Yeah, it did. It just the up B. Pure B. <laughs> right there. Pure B. Pure B. For $18.38, yeah. you can have one fry from Shake Shack. <laughs> There Day we go. Beat. Roll right into that, you filthy animal. Yeah. Well, I mean, the other guy's the animal player. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Just quoting Home Alone. Choo choo. <laughs> the dash dance. Trying to lead to something. Nope. Stan is just the master of the ledge. Yeah. Uh, that's really unfortunate for, for Melon. He's got to get this combo right here. Nonetheless, <laughs> it's really unfortunate that Stan is. The man. Oh, classic. Stan the man. Good air there. Oh, it gets a neutral B2 as he's going to drop down to get back sick there. Oh, sick-ass wave land. Oh, no. but gets back on stage. The Cody angle. Indeed. Just barely. Good grab. Going to get the... Nope, not going to get the air, but does get the up air into the fair. Oh, nice down tilt. Anyone's game. True, true. Stan. Kind of shaking his head there, trying to not have it get in his head. But the knockdown going to help him out. Gets the backer into the... Oh, doesn't get the Nair. And now the grab all of a sudden. Ooh, Melon got the tech chase. Yeah, these are these Stack it up. This is anyone's chance. Hey. Hey. No, he drops the up tilt. Nope. No. Ah. That was a great up smash out of shield. Oh, well, oh no. That's going to be a oh, kill. Oh, it gets a counter. That was so smart. What up the air? fuck did he up the air? fuck? Damn. No, he's dead now. No! Oh my god. Stan wincing knowing that that was fraudulent. Melon. Melon had it, dude. What is it with Mars nowadays not. Because <laughs> Zane, because Zane oh. teaches us how to choke. Dude. Mute, all I'm saying is Mewtwo King. We need we need Mewtwo King back, if not just to show us how to edge guard. Yeah, bro. but then the last time Mewtwo King performed, he, he flopped an edge guard. True, true. This is ever, the Marts are losing it. I'm telling you. Crimson Blur lost yeah. the first to five versus Slime. Yeah. Mart Nation is in shambles right now. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, Fox Nation, uh, you know, feeling pretty good about their uh, ratings. Also, yeah. Fox McCloud. Absolutely. <laughs> Fox no, McCloud okay. is a good man. Yeah. He did not do genocide yeah. in other places. Uh, Damn, Melon's falling apart. I don't know. I, don't, I think the, the um, uh, Mothrat system would uh, disagree. You know, the, you know, they're at war with the Lilat system, but you know, there's some really innocent civilians there in the Mothrat true. system. It's true. You know? Hey, I'm not ratting. You know? the fal yeah, the, fal saying, <laughs> the Falco you know? bombing. <laughs> Falco and Fox bombing. You, you might want to take that bird to have found us a nation, if you know what I'm saying. You know. Forward smash. Okay. Well, Melon is trying to save himself from imminent death. Yeah. And it looks like Stan was sent from the future to make Maryland a more competitive state. For Super Smash Bros. That was sick. <laughs> that was yeah. super difficult to space around timing-wise, too. Uh, and he nailed it. Yep. Oh, I love the high drill there. Yeah, just kind of waiting out response so you can reevaluate. Yeah, and all of a sudden, hey, oh, that's going to be it. Wow, Stan's playing crazy right now. Damn. Yep. Melon exiting out at third. He was seated fourth, so this is a uh, slightly higher placement than we were expecting, uh, theoretically. But Melon had a big day today, so. True, true. Yeah. It's just uh, Stan, you know what I mean? He's uh, he did uh, did 90 on the freeway, and uh, Melon just in the trunk, kind of hopeless there at the end. But uh, but yeah. Yeah, that is true. Yep. Uh, Melon out, unfortunately. You what? Melon out, unfortunately. Yeah, a third. But it is also exciting for a new player yep. such as Stan to come here and uh, make some ripples. So true, true. I'm excited for grand finals between. Him and Malachi. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a battle. Stan uh, figuring out some stuff. I feel like one thing uh, I've noticed about Stan is uh, very, uh, like, doesn't catch on, like, immediately. But once he catches on, he's kind of, like, consistent with Thanks. it. So it's, like, throughout the match, it's almost like he has a meter that's just, like, building up. And it's just, like, it keeps getting, like, his, his like, or it's more like he's getting coins in, like, Mario Kart 8, right? Yeah. Where you got coins, and then he's just getting more and more coins, and he's just keeping on to them. He's just reaching that max speed. Sure. So by the end of the set, he's playing way better. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, he's just gradually building momentum, you know. True. He's he's building uh, steam. I mean, Stan, ha Stan has looked stronger, like, each set, you know. So I am very excited to see 
if he potentially goes uh, Fox against Malachi. True, true. I don't think Malachi has played a Fox yet. No. So. Yeah, he's going Fox. I think. Because you played Malachi, right? True, true. And then it was Christian, and then Melon, and then Stan. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah, everybody but Fox. Damn. So, yeah, we're seeing uh, a little Orange Fox action. I feel like we haven't seen much uh, Orange Fox lately. It's true. It's nice to... Oh! That sucks. Right away. But what else can we expect? It's Malachi. Top 100 player uh, for several years running now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for a couple of years in a row. He's a top 100. And low key, I think Malachi is actually like kind of a good bit better than his ranking would suggest. I would agree so, Obviously, too. I'm biased. I'm from MDVA. Malachi does have a couple weaker showings, but uh, that dude's nasty. That, that's the issue about the top 100, right? Yeah. Is like there's so many people that are in a very similar tier, you know, where they can beat these top 20 people occasionally, yeah. and they are super dominant in region. But uh, there's just more people than ever now that are practicing high level melee, sure. you know? Yeah. It's I'm not saying we didn't have more people a couple years ago, but the game is. Way more advanced now. Than so it used evolved. To be. Yeah. No new players. It's it's kind of insane how good new players get. Yeah. Like, like pretty pretty instantly. Like even in the last like five years, you know, it's yeah skyrocketed in terms of the quality of play. Yeah. Just like thinking of like players like Stizzle and Oozle who are like you know very like yeah Oozle's you know, very Oozle's new. been playing for a year. Yeah. Like, they're just getting so good. Because Oozle was immediately thrown into a you know. A death pool or whatever. True. At every weekly, basically. Yeah. Every person is just gonna squash you, and if you have a good attitude and you do that long enough, you will get better. True, true. Uh, hopefully. Yeah. I mean, Johnny Lawrence, you've been having some good moments recently. Yeah. No, I mean, my problem is consistency. It's no. never bad. I feel like I'm gonna get really like my play definitely gotten better. It's just yeah, you're like faster now. The mentality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, for sure. I. It's, yeah, definitely not going to be a fast build. It's all good, though. Yeah. Malachi with a sick, sick sequence. Yeah. Turn up to Nair into another turn of edge guard. True, true. That was fire. Yeah. Malachi playing with some super hot fire here. Malachi hitting all his angles. Yep. Not in his head. As uh, we're going to see him sticking to the fox as Stan. Although I don't know whether he knows how good Malachi can be on this stage. Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh, down smash on Randall doesn't get anything to kill. Nonetheless, six percent. Nonetheless, nonetheless, my classic. No Tinder, I'm not paying for you. Oh, down smash. Won't do any of the matches. Like three people in bots. But either way, I think Stan is doing a great job on Yoshi's story, and. Uh, uh, move into the group. Yo. Malachi's definitely not doing Malachi stuff to him. Yeah, but. Certainly not. It certainly would never dash attack three times in a row. True, true. In the corner. Yeah. Malachi's the laziest melee player ever. True. Uh, like, like, it's so clear when he's, when he's like, has urgency versus not, you know? Yeah. Malachi's just always chilling. Oh. Malachi was just, just telling me, like, like we're, we're just hanging out, and I'm like, how you doing, Malachi? And he's like, I'm doing okay. I actually broke my toe and then <laughs> broke my, like, my shoulder or whatever, like, at Summit. And, and I'm feeling better now, but now my lungs hurt. And I was like, damn. damn, dude, that's crazy. And he's like, yeah, I'm about to go and go play Winner's Finals. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, Malachi is just so unfazed by all this adversity, uh, and... He does it with a smile on his face. He's a silly guy. Choo choo. Smile through it all. Right now, having a reason to smile. Up right now, 1 0. Percent lead. Gets a good nair there. Oh, just dropping out for that back air. Nonetheless, Stan not recognizing, capitalizing off it, but still alive. Gets back. There we go. But you were saying about uh, Malachi's ability to just uh, beat players, you know. Almost like, you know, getting top 20 wins. Yeah. Uh, one of those is uh, Magi, right? Magi is yes. uh, going to be top 20 this year. Yeah, he's being, he's being Magi, he's being Fiction, he's being Ginger. Like, yeah. dude has smoked all the top Falcos besides, you know, the big mango. But, 
Uh, he is high level in this matchup. However, Stan bringing him to the last stock. Oh, truly could be anyone's game, but Malachi, uh, looking a little disrespectful, low key. Yep. See you later, kid. It's the signature away. dance match. <laughs> truly not answering Stan's calls. 2 0. Not right Dia in the back. Slim wrote you, but you still ain't calling. Left my Malachi <laughs> Pager Emma phone, home phone on the bottom. I wrote two letters back in autumn. He was not a god. Probably was a problem with the post office or something. That actually was not bad, Luis. Good oh, job. I, you know, I was 12 months. <laughs> Battle. Smack. That song. That song Dash dance. Meant, meant a lot to a lot of people. Yeah. I don't know if this guy's name is Stan or if he is a Stan of somebody. He yeah. just thinks Eminem's the GOAT. But. Yeah. Which I, I don't think so, but you know, that's okay. I respect that. Yeah. He's a spacey stand. He's a part of a... Actually, I won't abbreviate that. But, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But see, uh, anyway, uh, four stocks to three here. <laughs> He's been uh, Okay. Yeah. yeah. Stan trying to get on the board here. Yeah. Definitely uh, looking like Yoshi's story is the right place to go. Yeah. Speaking of unfortunate abbreviations, do you know uh, in the uh, the Philippines yeah. that uh, the revolutionary group is uh, they called themselves the KKK? Oh, <laughs> the liberating the liberating group. Yeah, nice. Yeah. So exactly. there's like there's like restaurants in the Philippines that are like called like. KKK restaurant. Oh, nice. <laughs> and it's like people go there like, what the heck? But it's like, they're like, no, it's just based off the people who liberated us. The like, good oh, nice. people. Yeah, exactly. You know, okay. the, the, versus the, like the hate group here, yeah. but. Yes, exactly. The very important, but it, distinguished yeah. group. But yeah, speaking of uh, Spacey Stan right here, uh, Stan the man, uh, trying to get something here, but down smash from Peach, adding on uh, some extra percent. It's in there. Ah. Okay, nice conversion. Sakurai combo. Yeah. It's a ha ha. It's the Nathan Bedford Forest combo. Elaborate? <laughs> no, I will not. Elaborate. <laughs> but I, I have no idea what this reference is. Okay, well, you can read a book <laughs> oh, okay. when you go home. Well, I, I don't, I don't, I never learned how to read. Oh, that's true. I'll teach you. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a read. You, know, lessons, Johnny. you can, you can tell by my play. I don't read. Yeah, uh, it's all good. You know? I, I don't know how to read. It's purely living in the moment. You know. I read it at first grade level. Like what? Like for example, like r right there. So I know that's a stand, right? Yeah. Is that that's um. Uh, Malkovich, right? That tag right there? That's Malkovich? Malkovich, yeah, John yeah. Malkovich. Yeah. My favorite. That's what that says. Dude with dreadlocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Um, okay. There we go. Stan trying to get on the board. Malkai trying to air dodge for the fourth time in a row. Yeah. Um, let's see whose plan will work. Malachi uh, looking deviously at a 3-0. Stan fighting for his goddamn life right now. Yes. Okay, Malachi is just cruising around town. Is that booty going to be Ariel should do it. But Stan with a great angle. Wow, that was crazy conversion. Oh, oh, up, up, up smash genuinely will kill right now. Oh, oh wow, that's it. Oh, Genius down, some, or down air to, uh, to poke him preemptively. Yep. And nonetheless, even though he wow. had challengers, Malachi, with his peach crown, that stays was on sick. top. That was, that was, I mean, he was bringing it back. Stan was playing phenomenal, but Malachi clutching it out so many times today. Uh, holding it down versus Stan, 3 owing him right there, even though Stan took a game of winner's finals. And also fending off Melon last stock game five. True, true. So, yeah, Malachi, I think, has been playing pretty clutch lately. I believe he's won Absolutely. three Xanadus in a row. Could yeah, be more. For sure. He's won a bunch this season. And I've, yeah. I was talking to Malachi about this recently, and he was just saying he's trying to travel to as many tournaments as possible because this is like basically one of his jobs right now. True. And he's doing a damn good job of doing it. Yeah, it's a nice source of uh, moolah for him. Yeah. yeah. What nice was your set of the night? Uh, set of the night, I'd have to say uh, probably Melon uh, Malachi. Yeah, I was going to say Melon Malachi too. Yeah. Or it wasn't like too close, right? Yeah. 
I feel like Melon Tyvex actually. Yeah, like Melon Tyvex is pretty exciting. I thought all the all the Tyvex sets were pretty pretty cool, True. honestly. Um, but yeah, Melon of the Great Run as well. But anyway, yeah. guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a great showing, um, and we'll see you next week. See you next week. This has been Johnny Lawrence, Luis signing out. Right, guys, peace.